what's happening everyone it's your boy here Durahim. we are back again today with another great amazing tech video well the video of today is all about the asus tough gaming laptop and this is an f15 it's a really really cool one and it's really really dope another kind of stuff it's a military grade machine and it's really awesome but talking about through this machine first of all through this video of today we're gonna unbox it secondly we're gonna see the form factor thirdly we're gonna uh, set it up and see how it works i'm gonna share with you guys how the machine is capable throughout this machine how it works and stuff like that it's gonna be really really cool but i'll try installing games yeah saying not installing but i'll try it out installing some games so as we can clutch and see how much this machine is capable so enough of me talking let us just unbox this asa stuff gaming machine and experience what's uh exp, exp what am i say experience the tough gaming laptop so yeah so guys right now we're gonna just unbox our tough gaming laptop and uh, it's gonna be really really cool to just unbox it and see uh what's inside so um let us just get started throughout here so as we can see what's packed inside this machine whoa that's cool that's cool so first thing first what we're getting in here we're getting stickers as you can see really really cool stickers by tough gaming which it's really really awesome and uh, another kind of stuff this is our machine in here so i just don't want to open it right now let us just go to the second thing kind of stuff you're getting the paper wax in here which it's really good in search of incredible which it's really really awesome paper wax it's a really really great thing so as you can see tough so our last but not least is our power brick in here which is really cool and uh, this kind of power brick has a 180 watts in here which is really really awesome this guy's in here this is our bad boy and um yeah Woo, this is cool this is really really cool i kind of like it it's dope it's really really dope as you can see it's a plastic material but military grade pr plastic pr what am i saying military grade plastic which is really cool at the back this is how it looks like really really decent i kind of like the hexagonal uh, pattern it's really really awesome this is how it looks like and opening it up is just this way and as you can see it's really really looking slick really really top notch and the keyboard they remind me of my asus rog um g15 which it was really cool and uh, same same keyboard from factor nothing different um yeah it's really really looking good the mouth the touchpad in here this is the, your mouse touchpad it's really rocking great this kind of keyboard has an rgb in here which is an aura rgb which is dope let's talk about the asus tough gaming f15 well, it comes with the Windows 11 Home. It has a 12th generation of Intel Core i5, which is really awesome. It comes with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti, which is really remarkable, which comes with the 4GB GDDR6. It has a 15.6 inch FHD display with an sRGB of 60, which it has Adobe 47.34 and a refresh rate of 144 Hz refresh rate, which is really great. And it has an adaptive sync. On the memory side, it has an 8GB of memory, which is a DDR4. On the storage side, it has a 512GB PCIe NVMe, which there are two times slot on the motherboard, which you can upgrade um, if you'd like to the second slot with the PCIe. Through the port in here, we are having the jack port, we're having the USB-C, we're having the USB 3.0, two of them. We're having the HDMI port and uh, Ethernet port and even the power port which it's really really cool the other side we are having the usb 2.0 and we are having the kingston lock which is really perfect back there's a ventilation place whereby the air or i can say the fans which they're cooling down it utilizes throughout uh, getting out the uh, air or cooling your machine which is really cool when we talk about the productivity throughout the machine it's really performing well i can say throughout premiere pro it's really outstanding and it's really captured me through different perspective when it comes to the render time it's really really fast and i can say through world photoshop or any kind of software throughout productivity you are into it's really really remarkable i can say this kind of machine whatever you throw at it it's just ready to give you the feeds and it's ready just to give you what you need it's a really
really really awesome as a stuff f15 and i give it good to go throughout this kind of basement Playing game on this machine, it's really coming in handy. The performance wise, which it gives you, it's really remarkable. I tried to play WRC 10 and I adjusted all the high end graphical to ultra, which means it's maxed performance throughout the GPU and the whole machine performance, which you can even switch to turbo performance and your machine still plays really really smooth and i did not get any kind of lagness or anything the machine performs really perfectly alongside the 144 hertz refresh rate gives it a nice and amazing kind of combo throughout this kind of machine and i can say uh, whatever game you just throw throughout this machine you won't expect any lagness throughout this machine which i can give it a go throughout that and it's really really awesome i can say throughout this kind of bad boy it's a tough dash or you can say it's a tough gaming machine which handles all kind of stuff which you throw at it <laughs> Asus ROG F15 it's a really really nice machine and it performance it's really really remarkable. Through all this kind of version which I have it's a Core i5 one and it's really giving me a great performance. Not only that it has an RTX graphics card and uh, it's a 3050 Ti which is a 4GB of dedicated graphics card which it's really really awesome. Another kind of stuff when it comes to the gaming it's really really performing great because I play the WRC 10 that's the only game I have so far uh, because I didn't download any other kind of games but the WRC 10 it's just performed perfect throughout high ultra settings and it's really really awesome throughout the way the gameplay it is and the display the way it just uh, uh, push it throughout uh, seeing the contrast the brightness and all of that it's quite really remarkable and I'm kind of like saying this kind of machine it's not uh, like um, I can say it's a productivity machine it's a really tough you can throw it anything and it's just give it you on the go but the other people who are like into displays and that's something which this machine doesn't have that much great display but the display is really decent to me i kind of like it the 144 hertz refresh rate if you're into that it's really awesome because of your games and yeah that's it about this machine it's about the review of the day let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking about this machine and let me know if there's any kind of spec i missed out through this machine so as we can mashing up through the comment side so as we can heads up and see what's happening so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed on this video today and uh, another kind of stuff you're new here consider subscribing to your homeboy here i really really appreciate on that and last but not least guys catch you guys on the next one as always stay sharp and creative kudos guys and peace